excuse me, is our little practice bothering you? Get out of here. All right, let's work. Let's scrim it. Come on. You seem so distant these days, Brad. Is there something I did? Because if there is, I want you to tell me. Ashley, it's just... I'm, I'm ready to work through whatever it is that we need to work through. But we need to communicate. I need you to talk to me. Ashley, it's just that I... I love you so much. It scares me. <laughs> oh, man, you want to hear something way messed up? You know that Molly Hatchet shirt I was wearing the other day? <laughs> You know, the one with the executioner guy holding that bloody axe under his foot, the severed head? Yeah. yeah. That's my shirt. <laughs> yeah, so my mom, she makes us go to church every week, and we got to dress up. And so I get there, and the stupid priest says I can't come in. <laughs> you can't wear stuff like that at church, man. Why not, man? It's church. I'm supposed to forgive people there. <laughs> so you hate my shirt. Forgive me. Let me come in. Hey, I believe in God, man. I've seen I felt his power. He plays drums for Led Zeppelin, and his name is John Bonham, baby! Here we go, here Hey, Lisa, here's those noogies you uh, ordered. Hey, Reese, you know the story? Yeah, for my greenkeeper. Go! You got that one. It's in the hole, it's in the hole. Sam Weir, you really like Bill Murray, don't you? Yeah, he's great. Bill Murray sucks, man. No, he doesn't. He's cool. Oh, really? What is he? Your boyfriend? Sam Queer? It's fighting time, Weird. Leave me alone, Ellen. I'm sorry. I don't speak geek. I always wanted to know what it'd be like to fight a girl. I'm a girl. Want to see what it'd be like to fight me? Uh, weird sister has to protect him. I'm not protecting him. Just trying to figure out why it is you need to pick fights with guys who weigh less than 100 pounds. Watch out, Alan. I think she's high on pot. Yeah, I might just go psycho on you. Want to try me? You're dead, all right? As soon as your freak sister isn't around, I'm going to cream you, man. You know, you really didn't need to do that. I could have handled it. Yeah, I know. And by the way, I weigh 103 pounds. Sorry. Man, I hate high school. to Mrs. Patton today at Farmer Jack, and she said she saw you smoking. <laughs> well, she's crazy. Mom, I can't believe you. Do you seriously think I would start smoking? Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> you know, I had a friend that used to smoke. You know what he's doing now? He's dead. I think smoking makes you look cool. Let's go dig him up now and see how cool he looks. Daddy, if I started smoking, I would tell you. Oh, good. Now I don't have to worry. Hey, Dad, guess what? They're showing Monty Python and the Holy Grail at Parkway Saturday night. Neil, Bill, and I are going to watch it twice in a row. Great. Well, Sam, isn't the homecoming dance Saturday night? Yeah. Are you going? No, why would I do that? 
Well, your sister's going. No, I'm not. All right, kids, high school is for learning, but it's also where you should be learning how to socialize. That's what high school dances are all about. No, they're not. There's a chance for the popular kids to experiment with sex in their car. Lindsay! Well, hey! I mean, if that's what you want me to do, then I'd be happy to go. You know, there was a girl in our school. She had premarital sex. You know what she did on graduation day? Died of an overdose, heroin. Dad, are any of your friends alive? The smart ones. I'm sure there are plenty of kids who are just dying for someone to ask them. Mom, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Honey, it's stupid until you consider how happy it'll make somebody who really wants to go. Nobody I know wants to go. Lindsay. Dad. Honey. Great. No, that works out perfect. I'm having a midnight madness deer hunting sale at night, and you can come wait on all those nice hunters. Choice is yours. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Hey, Eli. I think Carla needs a hug. My buddy! My buddy! My buddy! Oh, okay. Okay. You're such a jerk, man. What? Eli, I like you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mr. Guy. Mr. Schwieber. Schwieber. Oh, oh, Mr. Bones, Mr. Spock, may I join you here in the Enterprise Mess Hall? I'm so hungry, I could eat a triple. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Who's that? John Wayne. Oh, okay. Why does my mom always put a note in my lunch? It's so embarrassing. At least your mom doesn't write the note on the bag. <laughs> Are you guys going to the homecoming dance? No. I, I really don't see that happening. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I crush your Twinkies? Hey, what did you do that for? What are you going to do? Go crying to your sister, Sam Rear? No. No, I'm not. Mr. Kaczewski, I'm smashed by Twinkies. Oh my God, you're such a woman. Alan, you don't have anything better to do than to crush Mr. Weir's dessert? Oh, well, you know, I was just bending down to talk to him and I accidentally leaned on it. I'm sorry. Why don't you go do the nice thing and buy him some new ones? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Kaczewski. Sam, you want some advice? Be a man. You shouldn't let Alan do that to you. I don't see you doing anything. Uh, my dad tells me to stay out of fights that don't affect me directly. Y you know what? It should be nice if you guys back me up once in a while. You know, my sister doesn't. She's a girl. Yeah, yeah, but if we back you up, then Alan's going to terrorize us, too. Listen, you guys have got to help me, or else he's never going to leave me alone. <laughs> <gasps> Daniel? Hey, Lindsay. What's up? Where you been? I've been around. Come on, let's hit the patio. Oh, the smoking patio. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's all right, they don't bite. Okay. Ow! Don't touch me. Guys. I'm sorry. Your butt was calling to me. Hey, Nicholas, you get those M80s? I don't know, man. You got the money? <laughs> you guys know Lindsay? Hi. You were, uh, you were in my English class last year, right? You're that chick who got an A. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. What are you going to do? <laughs> so you guys going to the homecoming dance? <laughs> I beg your pardon? That's funny. It's a joke, right? <laughs> My dad's kind
kind of making me go. Dad's making you go to the dance? Man, what's that all about? <laughs> Who's your dad? Hitler? <laughs> I just thought maybe, you know, you guys were going to go. To make fun of people. <laughs> I mean, that could be kind of funny, right? I would go, but I have a prior engagement. <laughs> My cousin just sent me a bunch of mushrooms, and I'm going to eat them. <laughs> Look, I mean, you know they're going to play disco, right? Disco sucks. I hate disco. <laughs> <laughs> Rather make out Principal Farber, you know? Oof, again? <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> what? What? Oh, my God, man. Oh! I can't wait till you're not paying attention. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. What you want? Lindsay? Linz? Friend of yours? Linz? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Okay. Millie, what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? This place is for freaks. Millie, go away. Today is the deadline to enter the academic decathlon. Mr. Rosso said you didn't turn your application. What? Millie, I'm not entering. But you're our best mathlete. Can we not talk about this right now? Lindsay, what's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. I just don't want to do decathlon this year. Well, aren't you at least going to help us sell our freshmen at the homecoming dance? We're trying to raise money to buy the school computer. Shh. Gentlemen, here's my advice. Listen to Neil. You should handle Alan same way Han Solo dealt with Jabba the Hutt. Avoid him. Just avoid him forever. Just for four years. Sam. Where's Sandy Sanders? Dream on, Sam. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Incoming. Hey, Sam, I've been looking all over for you. Is this your jacket? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you left it in science, so I didn't want it to get all dirty. Oh, thanks, Cindy. That was really nice of you. Yeah, well, I'll see you later. Sam, you are so in. What? She brought you your jacket. That means she saw it, she remembered it was yours, she picked it up and carried it through the halls. People probably saw her with it and everything. I wonder if she has a date for the dance. Cindy Sanders is in love with you, man. Really think Cindy likes me? Hello, the jacket. No way. We're not her species. Listen, just do me a favor. Ask around. See if she has a date for the dance. Who should I ask? Okay. The dance is tomorrow. She's a cheerleader. You've seen Star Wars 27 times. Do the math. I know, I know, but my dad always tells me that the prettiest girls usually don't get asked out because guys are too afraid to ask them. Really? Maybe I should ask out Farrah Fawcett Majors. Hey, maybe I should ask out Bill's mom. You better not. Listen, just ask around, okay? Don't even think about it. Get out of the way. Hey! Chemistry exam you ordered? All right, good job. Where are the answers? You just said to steal the test. Oh, good work, genius. Where do you use your brain? What? I'm cutting. Who's got gum? Sorry. Oh, yeah, that, that's real great, you know? Why don't you blow your nose in some bread and make me a sandwich, too? Why is everyone calling up my butt today? Because you're a moron. Hey, Kim, I got some. What's she doing here? Uh, she's our friend. What, are you doing her so that she'll help you with your math homework? Hey, lay off. Um, Kim, I... I wasn't talking to you, Brain. Don't you have a test to take or something? Hey, would you be cool, please? Did I do something to you? You're here. Kim. 
Well, I have as much right to be here as you do. Hey, Brain. A shoplift in your daddy's store. You're just some rich kid who's trying to piss off her parents. You think you can hang with these guys? You think that's going to make you cool? I don't know what to tell you. You know what? I'm sorry. Let's be friends. Hey. <laughs> there. Now we're friends. See you at the mall. Where are you? On your period? Hey, if you want to hang around with your little poser friend here and pretend with her, then that's your waste of time. Just keep her the hell away from me. That is exactly why I don't carry a purse. I gotta, I gotta get to shop class to the one I can pass. Here. I'm sorry. Don't you have to get to class, too? Oh. Well, I'll survive. These shorts aren't very flattering, are they? No, you look good. Thanks. Hey, how come your sister is dressing so weird now? What do you mean? I don't know. I mean, she's been wearing your dad's army jacket. I don't know. She's been acting weird ever since her grandma died. You're dead, weird! Alan? What? What's the point of all this? Point? The point is, you're dead too, little man. I kind of wish I didn't come to school today. Hi, would you, um, would you go to homecoming dance with me? <laughs> um, I would, but, um, I already have a date, so I can't. Sorry. Will you go to homecoming dance with me? <laughs> <laughs> Eli, what? There's a B in your book. Where? Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Sure. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to upset your husband. <laughs> Oh, yeah? What if he was my husband? That'd be some kind of joke to you? It's no joke to me. I think you two make a good couple. Yeah? Maybe we do. Hey, Eli. Do you want to go to the homecoming dance with me? Yes! Yes, I do! Yeah, please! Yeah, I will go. Good. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, Eli. <sighs> All right, fellas, I just want to let you know that in honor of the big homecoming game tomorrow, I'm going to give you guys the day off. Can we go home? Schreiber, don't be an idiot, all right? I mean, we're going to do something fun. I'm going to let you guys play dodgeball. Yeah! yeah! supposed to be fun about this. If we just let ourselves get hit, then we can sit out. Ah! Uh, let's just pretend to get hit. Nobody can know. I don't think we can. Ladies, put down the mascara. Get in there, flat. Come on. Ah! Ah! Get Very it! nice. I can't take it, man. I gotta get out of here. Hey, look. Look, man. It's making a run for it. Hey, only my mom's allowed to call me that. Okay, now it's time to smear weird. <gasps> Sam, get away from me! We need to stick together! Are you crazy? Hey, kid, stop! Oh, 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 yeah! Oh, my God! Oh, hey, hey, Solomon, hey, 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 that's illegal. You're out of there. What? All right, Schwab, well, come on, walk it off. 
sit down, you knucklehead. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide, weird. Kid, get away from us. That psycho's after you. Let's pick him up and throw. That's the way. Let's throw, plus. He got my ball. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Go, Sam. Go. Take a seat. Come on, Weir, throw it back. Catch it, come Get, on. Oh, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Dodgeball is kind of a stupid game, isn't it? You just signed your death warrant. Man, that chick digs you, I'm telling you. She likes me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> That's what Eli. What? Eli. That uh, Jimmy Carter, he's some president, right? Oh. He, yeah, he's really doing a hell of a job. Oh, he's doing a hell of a job. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, but I, I, I gotta say, I'm a little concerned about his handling of the economy. I mean, aren't you? I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'm a little, I'm a little concerned. Come on, come on, Eli. Give him a break. I mean, look what he's done to the Middle East. To the Middle East. Yes. To the Middle East. <laughs> middle of the East. Middle. Okay, okay. I bet you make a good president, Eli. President Eli? Yeah. Okay. You've been president Eli. President Eli. Hey, you guys, cut it out. Leave him alone. What? what? We're having a political discussion no, here. we're political. Eli, you don't have to talk to them. They're just being mean. No, but you're my buddies. Yeah, they're my buddies. We're my buddies. Ain't that right, Mr. President? No, they're not, Eli. I'm making them laugh. Why? <laughs> yeah, not this way. There's a good kind of laughing and a bad kind of laughing. This is bad. Eli, they're only laughing at you because you're retarded. I'm not retarded. I'm special. I'm special. Eli, you, I'm, you I'm are special. special. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know you're special. They're being mean to you. I'm not retarded. Okay. You're retarded! I'm sorry! No! No! I'm not retarded! I'm special! I don't want to go to dance with please, you! Please, no! I'm sorry! Oh my god! Go to the nurse. And I'm the mean one? How does that work? So, what's going on here? All I... I was trying to do something nice in this stupid school where nothing nice ever happens, but instead, Eli broke his arm, and now I feel like the biggest idiot in the world. No, why aren't you taking part in the academic decathlon? What? We need you. You're our best mathlete. Oh, God. Please don't say that word. You having some problems at home? No, I'm not. Is it a boy? No. Hey, you can tell me. I know it seems square to actually talk to your guidance counselor, but I was a kid once too, and not that long ago. Mr. Rosso, there's nothing to tell. Trust me. Okay. I see the problem here. Let's just rap as people, okay? No pressure. Uh, from now on, I'm not Mr. Rosso, guidance counselor. You're not. No. I'm just Jeff, your friend who cares. Jeff. Exactly. And you're not Ms. Weir, high school student. You're Lindsay, a girl who seems like she needs a friend. So, come on, Lindsay. 
Talk to your buddy, Jeff. Jeff? Never felt better in all my life. Well, then maybe someone should tell your face. Ah, yes, interesting problem. Freshman bullies. He's obviously acting out his insecurities in a new environment. If you can disconnect emotionally, it's really quite sad. In his own way, he's reaching out for a friend. Not that you should feel sorry for him, though. His kind should be destroyed. So, what do we do? I would recommend the Cressman conundrum. What the hell is that? Tom Cressman, my freshman tormentor. The idea was, if you fight your bully, afterwards, whether you win or lose, they'll tend to leave you alone. Did it work? He broke my tailbone, but the results were effective. He got expelled. It's a good plan. It's a terrible plan. Okay, I'm not fighting Alan. He's not my tormentor. I know every route he takes to each class, and I avoid those halls. It's that simple. Start leaving out the janitor's door like I did. Are you looking for a fight, dork? No, sir. Well, you're gonna get one! Tell me about the stupid Crestman conundrum. Wait, are you? Uh, are you? Uh, are you okay? Is it just me, or does the whole world suck? All right, after class, you and me are cutting out of here. Cutting? <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I got something to show you that it's going to make you feel better. Most of the professions are... I guess the first thing that we got to do is get him on the ground. How are we supposed to do that? Cut his legs off. Did I wear a cup for this? That's between you and your god, Bill. Got a problem? Uh, no. I was, I was just looking at a friend of mine. Are you telling me that I look like a friend of yours? Hey, Ken. I think he likes you. Is that true? Do you like me? Do you love me? I, I like you like a friend. I don't think so. I think you like me like me. I think you want to kiss me. Do you want to kiss me? I, I don't know. Come on. Just one little kiss. I'll be your girlfriend. <laughs> In your dreams, geek. <laughs> Maybe we should get her to beat up Alan. Go. Go. <laughs> Wait for me, man. Be prepared to have your mind blown. Check it out, man. That's uh, 14 mounted toms, eight floor toms, four splashes, two gongs, uh, 10 cowbells, four rides, five snares, man. A roto tom rack. And it's all mounted on my infamous quadruple kick drum system. Six more pieces, I got a bigger kit than Neil Pert from Rush. Yeah. That's great, Nick. Look, these teachers, these teachers want us to work, you know? And I say, fine, I'll work. But you gotta let me do the kind of work that I wanna do. And for me, Lindsay, it's, it's my drum kit, man. This is my passion, you know? This is, this is the essence of who I am now. But before I had this, I was lost too. You see what I'm saying? You, you need to find 
your reason for for living. I, I, you gotta find your big, just gigantic drum kit. You know? Hey, maybe I'll buy a clarinet. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not going to the dance, I thought uh, I thought you'd come over to my house. A bunch of guys who play guitar are gonna come over. We just, uh, I don't know, we we're gonna try playing like Dark Side of the Moon or something. Just tell your dad you went. I can't lie to my dad. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you tell your dad that you got a date? Now listen, I'll put on a suit, <laughs> all right? I'll come pick you up. Talk nice to your dad, and then I'll take you to the school. And we can, look, we can walk up to the door of the dance, and then we can take off. That way you could tell your dad you went. You wouldn't be lying. You'd really do that? Absolutely. Hello there. Hello, Jeff. Guess who's in trouble? Here's the deal. If you take part in the academic decathlon, I'll forget this ever happened. You're forcing me to be a mathlete? That is so not fair. <laughs> the world is not black and white. It's gray. And I really think it'd be good for you. Jeff, I really can't do that. Fine, Miss Weir. Then maybe it's time for some tough love. How about I uh, call your parents and I let them know that their daughter's turning into a burnout who skips class. No. And you know what? I can't make you be a mathlete. But I can make you work the refreshment table at the homecoming dance. I'll see you Saturday at 7. You know who used to cut class? Jimi Hendrix. You know what happened to him? He died. Choking on his own vomit. Daddy, I skipped Latin. Oh, well, I can understand why you wouldn't want to learn about that. It's only the building block of our language. Well, I'm just glad your grandmother wasn't alive to hear about this. You can't cut corners in life. You know who cut corners? Kennedy. Kennedy cut corners when he was running the Bay of Pigs. A lot of good men lost their lives because of it. You know who else cut corners? Janice Joplin. Dad! What are you talking about? You don't make any sense. I just cut class and guess what? Everybody's still alive. Just leave me alone! You understand what I'm saying, don't you, Sam? Yeah. Good. Pass the rolls. Um, can I come in? Do you think that me, Neil, and Bill could beat up Alan? Just Alan? Yeah. Alan and his buddies? No to maybe. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, why are you throwing your life away? Did Dad tell you to ask me that? No. Millie did. It figures. Forget it. You know, tell her to mind her own business. You know, just because she asked me to ask you doesn't mean I was gonna tell her what you said. Sam. Did Mom and Dad ever tell you that I was the only one with Grandma when she died? No. Yeah. They went down to the cafeteria to get some coffee. 
All of a sudden, Grandma looked so terrified. I didn't know what to do. She grabbed my hand and told me she didn't want to go. She looked so scared, Sam. So I said, well, you know, can you see God or heaven or a light or anything? What did she say? No. There's nothing. She was a good person all her life, and that's what she got. So, you, you do think that we could beat up Alan? Yeah. He's a goner. from the long arm of the law lawman is putting into my running and i'm so far from my home oh mama i can hear you are crying you're so scared oh man poor sam it's almost three o'clock. Alan's gonna be here soon. I'll, I'll bet he forgot his math book. I'm sure he's coming. All right. Colin, you came to help us? No way. I just came to watch. It should be exciting. Uh, because we're gonna win? Either way. Oh, man. Where's Sam? Sam! Can't talk. Gotta fight out. Cindy? Where's Sam? It's 3 o'clock. Oh, okay. So now, don't let Alan hit any of your pressure points, because if he does, you're not going to feel anything, but you'll drop dead in three days. Oh, man, my stomach hurts. Bill, you'll be fine. No, it, it really hurts. I think I should go home. This is how Houdini died. Oh, you should always guard your face, because if the other guy hits in the nose, it could drive the nose bone into your brain. And then you'll release your bowels and die. Shut up, would you? No, he's right. There are a lot of ways to die in a fight. <sighs> Maybe we should put this off. There's Sam. Sam! Sam! Stop, Sam. stop it, you moron! That's not Sam, it's Alan! What? So, um, what are you doing? Uh, just going home. How about you? I'm cheering at the game. Oh. <laughs> well, you're dressed for it. <laughs> what are you losers doing on my street? Nothing. We're kind of here to beat you up. Bill! Well, we are. Are you? He's, he's just, he's kidding. I'm not talking to you, dork. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, pinhead? Oh, oh, I'm just here to watch. Oh, really? Well, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> You are so uh, dead! Uh, 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 well, I, I gotta get out there. I'll see ya. All right, see ya. Hey, Cindy? Yeah? I was wondering. D uh... <laughs> you want a piece of me? I'll kill you! Bring it on! <laughs> uh, do you want to go to the homecoming dance with me? Well, I'm already going with Dan Lewis. He asked me two weeks ago. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. I uh, just thought I would ask, just in case he didn't have anyone to go with. Well, I'm... I gotta get out there, so I'll see ya. Oh. Okay. If you're there, I'll save a dance for you. Okay. 
see it. That could be good. Oh, off me, you psycho! Oh, oh, ripped my shirt! You're gonna buy me a new shirt! You guys are all dead, man! Really dead! I got punched in the nose, but, but I'm still alive. I guess the nose one must have missed my brain. Yeah, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Mine does. Ugh. Did you see me? I was taunting him. He was terrified. Did you see me? I had his arms. Totally shut him down. I had his shoes. Wait a minute. You, you guys fought Alan. No, we got hit by a car. Listen, I'm so sorry. I was talking to Cindy. You really stood up for me. You should see how he looks. He tore his shirt. <laughs> so what'd she say? She's got a date. She's saving a dance for me. So you're going? Yeah. You got a slow dance. <laughs> yeah, definitely slow. Thanks. Uh, you know, I'll be there the next time. Oh, God, I hope there's not a next time. thing in your life is somebody makes you go to a dance and I'd say you have a pretty good life. Cindy. Hey, Sam. I was wondering, um, you said you'd save a dance for me, so can I have it now? Um, I mean, if you're not busy. I'm not busy. Childhood friends and the dreams we had. We lived happily forever. So the story goes, but somehow we missed out on the part of gold, but we'll try. What are you thinking about, Lindsay? I think I'm going to dance with Eli. I'll be right back, Jeff. Oh, uh, Lindsay. Maybe you should start calling me Mr. Rosso again.
that's the perfect couple. I mean, they got some chemistry. Ow. Shut up! What can I do? 